Anthony and Victoria. Um, it was a very much a sweet dream of a relationship, and it was also a nightmare at some points. In the vibrant world of music history, Andy Gibbs' life story shines with both triumph and tragedy. You know, I thought that you know, maybe the song's great, but maybe it won't be a hit because I'm doing it or whatever. I didn't really think that I could actually myself have a hit record or a number one record. And then... However, behind the glittering facade of success lay a tumultuous personal journey marked by struggles with addiction and inner demons. Amidst this tumult, his daughter Peta's life unfolded, deeply intertwined with her father's tumultuous trajectory. Join us as we unravel the poignant tale of Andy Gibbs' daughter, a poignant reminder of the profound impact of fame and its toll on familial bonds. Early Beginnings of Andy Andy Gibbs' early life was immersed in the rich tapestry of music that surrounded the Gibb family from the outset. Born on March 5, 1958, in Manchester, England, Andrew Roy Gibb was the youngest of five children to Hugh and Barbara Gibb. From his formative years, Andy was steeped in a musical environment fostered by his parents' love for music. His father, Hugh, was a drummer, and his mother, Barbara, a singer in a band. At the tender age of six, Andy's family migrated to Australia, seeking new opportunities. Settling in Redcliffe, Queensland, the Gibb household became a breeding ground for musical talent, with Andy's older brothers, Barry, Robin, and Maurice, showing early signs of their future success as the Bee Gees. It was within this familial cocoon that Andy's passion for music was nurtured, and he quickly began to showcase his own musical prowess. Despite the family's musical heritage, Andy's childhood was not without its challenges. The Gibb brothers' relentless pursuit of a music career often meant financial strain for the family. However, this adversity only served to strengthen their bond and deepen their commitment to their shared musical aspirations. Andy's affinity for music became apparent from a young age, and he eagerly absorbed the musical influences that surrounded him. He idolized his older brothers and sought to emulate their success. Inspired by their harmonious melodies and catchy tunes, Andy began to hone his own musical talents, eagerly participating in impromptu jam sessions with his siblings. As the Bee Gees' star continued to rise, Andy's desire to follow in their footsteps intensified. Encouraged by his family, he began to showcase his talents publicly, performing at local venues and talent shows. It was during one of these performances that Andy's exceptional vocal abilities caught the attention of music industry insiders. Recognizing his potential, Andy's family made the bold decision to relocate to the United Kingdom in pursuit of greater opportunities for his burgeoning music career. This move proved to be a pivotal moment in Andy's journey as it opened doors to a world of possibilities in the music industry, the path to fame. In 1975, Andy's dreams began to materialize when he signed a recording contract with Robert Stigwood, a renowned music impresario who had previously managed the Bee Gees. With Stigwood's guidance, Andy embarked on a solo career that would catapult him to international stardom and forever leave an indelible mark on the world of music. In 1976, Andy signed a recording contract with RSO Records, setting the stage for his meteoric rise to fame. In 1977, Andy Gibb released his debut album, Flowing Rivers, which showcased his distinctive blend of pop, disco, and soul influences. The album featured the hit singles, I Just Want to Be Your Everything, and Love is Thicker Than Water, both of which soared to the top of the charts and solidified Andy's status as a rising star in the music industry. Flowing Rivers peaked at number 19 on the Billboard 200 chart and was certified gold in the United States. Buoyed by the success of his debut album, Andy Gibb continued to captivate audiences with his soulful vocals and infectious melodies. In 1978, he released his sophomore album, Shadow Dancing, which further showcased his evolution as an artist. The album's title track, Shadow Dancing, became Andy's signature song, topping the charts in multiple countries and earning him his first number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Additionally, the album spawned several other successful singles, including An Everlasting Love and Our Love, Don't Throw It All Away. Throughout the late 1970s and early 1980s, Andy Gibb remained a dominant force in the music industry, churning out a string of hit singles and albums. His third studio album, After Dark, released in 1980, featured the chart-topping single Desire, 
which showcased Andy's versatility as a vocalist and songwriter. In addition to his solo career, Andy Gibb also collaborated with other artists, further expanding his musical repertoire. Notably, he teamed up with Olivia Newton-John for the duet I Can't Help It, which appeared on his debut album Flowing Rivers and became a chart success. Family Unity and Andy's Isolation Despite the fame and success of the Gibb family, marked by countless hit records and global adoration, beneath the surface lay fractures that ultimately led to Andy Gibb's isolation and despair. While the Gibb brothers were celebrated as a musical powerhouse, Andy found himself increasingly alienated from the familial bonds that once defined their unity. At the height of their success, the Gibb family appeared to epitomize closeness and solidarity. However, as Andy's personal struggles with addiction escalated, rifts began to emerge within the family dynamic. While his brothers rallied around him in moments of crisis, offering emotional support and financial assistance, Andy's inability to overcome his demons led to an ever-widening chasm between them. Financially, Andy's situation painted a stark contrast to the family's prosperity. Despite his earlier success as a solo artist, his reckless spending on drugs and extravagant lifestyle left him in dire straits. While his brothers provided occasional financial support, it was far from enough to pull Andy out of the abyss of debt and despair. Emotionally, Andy found himself increasingly isolated from his family. As his addiction deepened, he withdrew further into himself, shutting out the very people who once offered him solace and companionship. While his brothers attempted to intervene and offer assistance, Andy's stubbornness and pride prevented him from accepting help, further exacerbating his sense of isolation. The dynamics within the family only served to deepen Andy's feelings of inadequacy and alienation. Surrounded by siblings, who had achieved unparalleled success in the music industry, Andy struggled to find his place and measure up to their towering legacy. Despite his own accomplishments as a solo artist, he was haunted by a pervasive sense of inferiority, fueling his descent into self-destructive behaviors. As Andy's addiction spiraled out of control, his relationship with his daughter, Pita, also suffered. Despite his genuine love for her, his inability to overcome his demons left Pita adrift, longing for a father who was increasingly absent, both physically and emotionally. While Andy's brothers attempted to bridge the gap and offer support to Pita, their efforts were often overshadowed by Andy's relentless, downward spiral. Ultimately, Andy's isolation from his family became a tragic reflection of the toll that addiction can take on even the closest of bonds. Despite the Gibb family's wealth and success, they were unable to shield Andy from the ravages of his addiction, leaving him isolated and alone in his darkest moments. Andy's Sudden Demise Andy Gibb's sudden demise on March 10, 1988 sent shockwaves through the music industry and left fans worldwide mourning the loss of a talented young artist. At the age of 30, Andy's life came to a tragic end, marking the premature conclusion of a journey marked by both triumph and turmoil. In the months leading up to his death, Andy had been grappling with a myriad of personal struggles, including battles with addiction and the pressures of fame. Despite attempts at sobriety, his ongoing struggles with substance abuse took a toll on his physical and mental well-being, culminating in a series of health complications. The events leading up to Andy's untimely passing were fraught with uncertainty and concern. In early March 1988, he was admitted to the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford, England, complaining of severe chest and abdominal pains. Medical professionals conducted tests to determine the root cause of his discomfort, but his condition quickly deteriorated. Tragically, Andy slipped into unconsciousness, and despite efforts to stabilize his condition, he succumbed to complications arising from inflammation of the heart, officially diagnosed as myocarditis. This diagnosis came as a devastating blow to his family, friends, and legions of fans who had hoped for his recovery. The news of Andy's passing reverberated around the world, sparking an outpouring of grief and tributes from fellow musicians, industry insiders, and fans alike. Many mourned the loss of a young talent whose promising career had been cut short far too soon. In the wake of his death, 
Questions arose about the factors contributing to Andy's decline and eventual demise. It was widely known that he had struggled with addiction for several years, with cocaine abuse taking a particularly heavy toll on his health. Medical experts speculated that his chronic substance abuse may have exacerbated his underlying health issues, including the inflammation of the heart that ultimately claimed his life. Andy's death also cast a spotlight on the darker side of fame and the pressures faced by young artists thrust into the spotlight at a tender age. The Journey of Peta Gibb Peta Gibb, the daughter of late singer Andy Gibb, emerged from the shadows of her father's tumultuous legacy to carve her own path, marked by resilience, creativity, and a quest for identity. Born on January 25, 1978, in the United States to Andy and his then-wife Kim Reeder, Peta's early years were fraught with the complexities of growing up in the shadow of her famous father. Peta's relationship with her father was shaped by sporadic interactions and the weight of his absence. Growing up primarily with her mother in Australia, Peta navigated the challenges of adolescence with little guidance from her famous father. It wasn't until later in life that Peta began to explore her connection to her father's musical legacy. Despite the distance and the pain of his absence, she inherited his musical talent, demonstrating a knack for playing the guitar and piano. This shared affinity for music served as a bittersweet reminder of the bond she shared with her father, even in his absence. Peta's journey took a significant turn when she married Matt Weber, a musician and producer, in the early 2000s. Together, they embarked on a journey of creative exploration and personal growth. In 2004, Peta welcomed her first child, Flynn, followed by the birth of Gemma in 2007. Motherhood brought new meaning and purpose to Peta's life, igniting a desire to reconnect with her roots and explore her father's legacy more deeply. In 2017, Peta took a significant step towards reclaiming her father's musical heritage when she joined forces with her cousins Samantha, Spencer, and Stephen, the children of her uncle Barry Gibb, to record an album. The project, titled The Gibb Collective, Please Don't Turn Out the Lights, featured covers of classic Bee Gees songs as well as original compositions. For Peta, the album was more than just a musical endeavor. It was a cathartic journey of healing and reconciliation. Through her music, Peta found a voice to express the complexities of her relationship with her father and the lingering impact of his absence. Her candid interviews and heartfelt lyrics offered fans a glimpse into the inner world of Andy Gibbs' daughter, shedding light on the highs and lows of growing up in the shadow of fame. Peta's strained bond with her celebrity father. Despite Andy's musical success, his personal life was marred by struggles with addiction and turbulent relationships. These challenges deeply impacted his ability to maintain stable connections, including with his daughter, Peta. From a young age, Peta found herself navigating the complexities of having a famous father who was often absent from her life. Andy's battles with drug addiction and his tumultuous relationships, including his marriage to Peta's mother, Kim Reeder, created a volatile environment for their family. The strain in Andy and Kim's relationship became apparent early on, leading to their separation before Peta's birth. Although Andy briefly attempted to reconcile with Kim and be present for the birth of their daughter, his ongoing struggles with addiction ultimately led to their permanent separation. Peta's early years were marked by sporadic encounters with her father, who struggled to maintain consistent contact due to his personal challenges. Despite his occasional attempts to reconnect with his daughter, Andy's battles with substance abuse and mental health issues hindered his ability to establish a stable presence in Peta's life. As Peta grew older, she grappled with the emotional toll of her father's absence and the complexities of being the child of a celebrity. While Andy's fame afforded him opportunities and privileges, it also cast a shadow over his family life, leaving Peta to navigate the challenges of her upbringing largely on her own. The sporadic nature of Andy's presence in Peta's life underscored the strain in their relationship. Despite her longing for a deeper connection with her father, Peta found herself grappling with feelings of abandonment and disappointment as Andy's struggles with addiction continued to overshadow their relationship. 
Throughout her childhood and adolescence, Pita sought to reconcile her feelings about her father's absence while forging her own path in the world. Despite the challenges she faced, including bullying and rumors related to her father's struggles, Pita demonstrated resilience and determination in carving out her identity, separate from Andy's fame. Andy left his daughter penniless. Andy Gibbs' legacy is stained not only by his struggles with addiction and personal demons, but also by the financial ruin he left in his wake, particularly for his daughter, Pita. Despite his meteoric rise to fame and considerable wealth, Andy's reckless spending habits, coupled with his spiraling addiction, led to a cataclysmic collapse of his financial stability. At the pinnacle of his career, Andy was earning millions through record sales, concert tours, and endorsements. However, his extravagant lifestyle, fueled by his addiction to cocaine and other substances, quickly drained his fortunes. Reports indicate that Andy spent exorbitant sums on drugs, often squandering vast amounts of money on binges and excesses. His addiction not only consumed his financial resources, but also rendered him incapable of fulfilling professional commitments, leading to missed concerts, canceled tours, and lost contracts. In 1986, Andy's financial mismanagement reached its zenith when he filed for bankruptcy, a stunning fall from grace for the once celebrated pop sensation. Documents from his bankruptcy filing revealed staggering debts, amounting to $1.5 million, a shocking revelation considering his previous wealth and success. Despite earning nearly $25,000 in 1985 alone, Andy's reckless spending habits, coupled with legal fees and outstanding debts, left him teetering on the brink of financial collapse. The consequences of Andy's financial downfall were profound and far-reaching, particularly for his daughter, Pita. With no will or estate planning in place, Pita was left with nothing, inheriting none of her father's wealth or assets. The absence of a financial safety net meant that Pita was forced to navigate the challenges of life without the support and resources she rightfully deserved. Furthermore, Andy's financial irresponsibility had a lasting impact on Peta's upbringing and future prospects. Instead of enjoying the privileges and opportunities afforded by her father's wealth, Peta found herself grappling with the harsh realities of financial instability and uncertainty. Her childhood was marred by the specter of poverty and deprivation as she struggled to make ends meet in the absence of her father's financial support. The repercussions of Andy's financial mismanagement continue to reverberate in Pita's life, casting a long shadow over her journey. While Andy's fame and fortune may have brought him temporary acclaim and adulation, his legacy is tarnished by the wreckage he left behind, a shattered inheritance a daughter deprived of her birthright and a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of addiction and financial recklessness. Remembering Other BG's Offspring While Andy Gibb remains an iconic figure in music history, it's essential to acknowledge the lives and legacies of the other offspring of the legendary Bee Gees. Maurice, Robin, and Barry Gibb, collectively known as the Bee Gees, left a lasting impact on the music industry. Beyond their own successes, their children have also made significant contributions to various fields, carrying on the Gibb legacy in their own unique ways. Maurice Gibb, the twin brother of Robin and younger sibling to Barry, had two children with his second wife, Yvonne Spensley. Adam Gibb, born in 1976, followed in his father's footsteps as a musician, playing bass guitar and keyboards. He has collaborated with renowned artists and continues to honor his father's musical heritage. Samantha Gibb, born in 1980, pursued a career as a singer-songwriter, releasing albums that showcase her talent and creativity. Together, Adam and Samantha carry forward Maurice's musical legacy with passion and dedication. Robin Gibb, known for his distinctive voice and songwriting prowess, also had children from two marriages. With his first wife, Molly Hullis, he had two children, Spencer and Melissa Gibb. Spencer Gibb, born in 1972, is a talented musician who has collaborated with his late father and brother RJ on various projects. Melissa Gibb, an artist, has exhibited her paintings internationally, showcasing her creative talents beyond the realm of music. From his second marriage to Dwina Murphy Gibb, Robin had two more children, Robin John, RJ, 
and snow. R.J. Gibb, born in 1983, inherited his father's musical talents and pursued a career as a composer, co-writing The Titanic Requiem alongside Robin. Snow Gibb, born in 1978, ventured into acting and starred in films such as Pukun, leaving her mark on the entertainment industry. Barry Gibb, the sole surviving member of the Bee Gees, has a rich musical family of his own. With his second wife, Linda Gray, Barry has five children who have embraced various aspects of the music industry. Steve Gibb, born in 1973, is a guitarist and vocalist who has toured with his father's band, keeping the Gibb musical tradition alive on stage. Ashley Gibb, born in 1977, is a musician and producer who has collaborated with esteemed artists such as Gloria Estefan and Ricky Martin. Travis Gibb, born in 1981, is a singer and actor known for his appearances in television shows and films. Michael Gibb, born in 1984, pursued a career as a DJ and producer, showcasing his talents in clubs worldwide. Alexandra Gibb, born in 1991, is a singer-songwriter who has performed alongside her father on stage, adding her voice to the Gibb family harmonies. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.